So my Google Pixel 9a just received an update on Android 16 beta 4 to beta 4.1. So I'm going to be talking about this new update and what it fixes, as well as addressing a thing that was sent to me regarding the do not buy Pixel 9a. So welcome to the channel. If you guys could do me a solid, smash the like button because it truly helps out the channel. But let's get into today's video. So first off, to understand what's going on with Android 16 beta 4.1, which obviously means that we're just around the corner of the full-fledged release. It does fix a couple of issues, and it's not just directly to the Pixel 9a, but to basically Pixel devices that were able to use Android 16 Beta 4.1. So one of the things that it fixes is it fixes an issue that impacts the haptic performance, fixes an issue with the 4K video recording at four times telephoto, fix the weather map disappearing, fix lock screen shortcuts triggering with a single tap, Fixed an issue where the microphone indicator is stuck on. It fixed an issue where audio fails to play from the NDK. Fixed a constant battery drain issue. And fixed a black navigation bar appearing in transitions. Lastly, it fixed a Google app crash when loading a, a website. So these are some things that people have reported as bugs. You can see the ticket numbers and you can click on them to get more insight to see what type of issue it was causing and what devices this was happening on. But if you have not installed 4.1, then I would say at least wait a day or two. So as for me, I'm installing it right now because I wanna see if it creates another issue rather than alleviate issues. And so uh, for that, I will make an update video on that point a little bit later on this week or maybe next week. But I can tell you guys right now though, from Jump, after getting it installed and pretty much just going through it, it's been a bit smooth, so really haven't had much of an issue so far that I've seen with Android 16 beta 4.1. So we may be at the last whole shot before full-fledged Android 16 releases, which we will also see uh, some changes with the user interface that was talked about with the Android show yesterday that I reacted to, so go check out that, that live. But anyhow, um, if there's any bug issues that I experience on my Pixel 9a or any of my other Pixel devices that have Android 16 beta on it, I will definitely make an update video for you guys. Now, there's this thing um, about people sending me this in DM chats, and it has to do with the do not buy Pixel 9a because of how the battery is set in the device. This is based off a video that Jerry Riggs Everything did. And he did a teardown of the Pixel 9a and basically showed you guys how the internals are put together and built. And one of the things that people are talking about is the battery and how it's glued in. And uh, people had made, you know, this notion that, oh, you know, if you're going to try and do a battery swap, you're going to end up damage, you know, like damaging internal components because of the type of glue that's used to set the battery in the Pixel 9a. It's not easy for people to take out. And there's like a plethora of comments, people talking about like the repair shops at the, at the local mall. Um, good luck for those guys trying to replace the battery. But here's the thing real quickly is that, first of all, the battery health assistant uh, is something that newer Pixels are going to have. The Pixel 9a will have it. And it literally, yes, is supposed to maintain the uh, performance of the uh, battery as far as optimizing it. So that way it will last. Um, on top of that, you really should be going to reputable Google uh, repair shops, right? Like you break, I fix because they are certified in these types of repairs and swaps. So this, I wouldn't really consider as a reason to say, do not buy Pixel 9a, um, because I really don't see people swapping their batteries anytime soon with the Pixel 9a, but that's just me.